Well, Spokane Public Schools is the latest district to look into changing its calendar to spread breaks more evenly throughout the school year. But there are already a few local school districts that have made this switch. Derek Strom spoke with the superintendents about the pros and cons of a balanced calendar. A few school districts here locally have already moved to calendars that more evenly spread out breaks for students throughout the school year, including here in East Valley that has a continuous curriculum school, though that model is a little bit different than what other school districts are considering. Schools would go late into June and then start earlier into August. One of the biggest concerns for many school districts around the state is how the summer break can negatively affect learning for students. It's referred to as a summer slide or summer learning loss, and research shows students can lose skills and knowledge over a long break. Statistics show every, every time if we already have a kid behind, they just get further and further behind the bigger gap we have without having exposure to education. That's where school districts believe a balanced calendar could help by shortening the summer break for students and giving them more breaks during the school year. Schools would still have the required 180 days of instruction, and the state office of the superintendent of public instruction has even given grant money to districts looking into a balanced calendar. Pomeroy School District received some of that grant money, but decided not to move to a balanced calendar. High school really they they didn't want to engage too much into that learning and i think it's because they would face a few more challenges than um, elementary potentially just they're doing sports what's that look like when you're having days off when you're in intermission when other school districts aren't spokane public schools are currently looking at a year-round calendar and a balanced calendar for the 2026-27 school year but the district has not made a decision yet in spokane valley derek strom for news now